next speaker uh, just deeply moved my heart today. She's a woman who came all the way here from Texas, and she actually lived in Afghanistan under the Taliban. I just met her and her beautiful son, who is with us. So please welcome Mariam. from Austin, Texas. Um, I lived under the Taliban. I was in third grade. I was top of my class. I wanted to become a doctor. I, um, I could read in multiple languages by then. I was sure that I would have a very bright future. That's what my aunt told me. She was the one who was helping me with my schoolwork. Um, when the Taliban took over, my school closed. Uh, my family and I had to run away to Pakistan because we're also Hazara. Um, not, not only school was banned, but my family's life was in danger. In Pakistan, I, we were illegal and we didn't have money, so I made drugs um, to feed my family for four years. I was 13 years old when I wanted to commit suicide. I thought about how I could make it easy to die because all I thought about was working and um, maybe getting married off and making children, all of which uh, I, I had nightmares about getting married. That is not what I wanted to do. Um, by some miracle of the universe, uh, an organization that was funded by Afghans abroad helped me transition going back to school and they literally paid my family so I could go back to school and not have to work and it was a school funded by Afghans abroad. Um, I did not take any opportunities for granted since. I'm a successful software engineer. I'm a homeowner. Um, I graduated top of my class from a university in the US with a Bachelor of Science in Engineering. And my son Isaac will not stand for what happened to me and I, I cannot believe that this is happening again. I thought it was a nightmare. It was a story I would just share and it was so outrageous that I did, never thought it would happen again. I have not slept in a month because my girl cousins who are also Azara and they are also top of their classes. They are all banned from going to school and I have sponsored them now but I don't know if it will work. I am working so hard to get them out of Afghanistan. They're intelligent girls. I cannot imagine that happening. I want the operation for my family to end with me. Uh, please support Afghan women. I, I, had an, I had a sponsor for college. I got academic scholarship, but someone had to still sponsor me for me to get a US visa. It was a woman, and that's why I'm here. Women can do a lot. We are all one. You will have so much in common with a woman in Afghanistan as a woman here than anyone that is just your citizen or your neighbor even. We are all one, we are very much the same. So please stand for the women of Afghanistan. Please stand for their education rights. And please speak out for the Hazaras. They're being ethnically cleansed for generations in Afghanistan. It needs to end. 